Hello. I thank God for you and I thank God for this time that you are taking for your relationship with God. Among all the things that you have planned today, among all the activities, you're taking this time for blessings, for the sacred. I'm going to talk about singing and singing hymns and and as I do, there is a time when we will come together and we'll sing praises to God. And that's what uh, Dietrich Bonhoeffer is talking about here. And I want, to, I want you, I invite you to consider a hymn that has meant much to you. And why does it? Because you've sung it again and again and again? Is it, is it the tune that moves in your mind and your heart? There is a gift to the hymns, and, and Dietrich Bonhoeffer says, it's the voice of the church that is heard in singing together. It is not just you that sings, it's the church that is singing, and you, as a member of the church, may share in its song. Thus all singing together, that is right must serve to widen our spiritual horizon, must make us see our little company as a member of the great Christian church on earth and help us willingly and gladly join our singing. Whether it's feeble or good, we join our singing to the song of the church. From Psalm 47, sing praises to God. Sing praises. Sing praises to our King. Sing praises. For God is the King of all the earth. Sing to God a psalm of praise. God reigns over the nations. God is seated in God's holy throne. The nobles of the nations assemble as the people of the God of Abraham. For kings of the earth belong to God. God is greatly exalted. Let's pray. Wonderful God, we thank you for prayers, we thank you for psalms, we thank you for songs of praise, and we miss them. Help us, dear God, bring our minds to the hymns that have been blessing us, and help us to be a blessing. Through Jesus Christ, amen. God bless you.